Oh, and what is up, YouTube? My name is G3Iron, and today we are talking about uh, the differences and motivations and mentality that goes into playing either hardcore or softcore Path of Exile. Be sure to, of course, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more discussions and videos just like this one, and you can always check out my slightly above my slightly receding hairline uh, it is not going bald it is just slightly receding right above me there are timestamps for your convenience and those are of course hot linked down below in the video description if at any point in time you'd like to jump around to a different section of the video so the mentality and motivations for jumping into Path of Exile, whether that's as a softcore player or a hardcore player for those of you who are new to Path of Exile hardcore Path of Exile simply offers you an experience where when you die, your character immediately gets transferred out of whatever league it is that you are presently in into standard. So all of your items, all of your currency, all of your inventory that is on that immediate character gets transported, exiled, removed, mitigated, migrated, deceased from the league that they were originally in and moved over into softcore standard league. Well, a couple of prid quo crows, as it were, say that 10 times fast as we get started. Basically, a couple of disclaimers. This is me doing you a favor, expecting you to do me a favor down in the comments and the conversations that follow. So first off, don't let anyone else dictate uh, how you enjoy a game. So if you prefer playing Path of Exile Softcore, that's great. Don't let me or anybody else tell you otherwise. If you enjoy the game, as a hardcore player, that's great. Don't let me or anybody else tell you to or try to dictate how you enjoy your own hobbies and your own free time, right? That's the very first thing. Nobody should be um, dictating what somebody else does with their time. That being said, we all love to discuss Path of Exile and we all love to take feedback from one another. So that's one of the things that we're going to do today is we're going to lay out a case for both hardcore and softcore to consider the possibilities and the benefits of maybe trying out uh, the different options and different ways to play Path of Exile. So don't let anybody dictate your enjoyment of a game, but you can interact and even have changing opinions and changing tastes in a game over time. Secondly, choose what's best for you. So one of the things that I do is I play both hardcore and softcore Path of Exile. You'll hear me say this a couple of times throughout today's discussion that I play both softcore and hardcore. I typically rotate every other league. Um, for the newest upcoming league, the Synthesis League, I am playing hardcore, and I think it's going to be a blast. I am absolutely stoked for it, but nonetheless, you have to choose what's best for you. So some factors that go into things, just my own personal examples as a case study, Whenever my wife and I have a new kid, I don't play hardcore that league. And in fact, pretty much over the whole last year, I've only dabbled uh, in hardcore because when we had our newest addition to the family born way back in January of 2018, simply wasn't going to be able to dedicate time and focused energy to Path of Exile in a hardcore manner. And so I chose to play softcore for pretty much a league, uh, and I only dabbled in hardcore every once in a while. So choose what's best for you. Figure out what's best for you and your own hobby uh, and your own hobby time, and then do that and enjoy it. Based on your goals, so if you've got particular goals for a league, so for instance, uh, if you're going to try and kill Shaper for the first time that you've ever done, Hardcore Path of Exile, probably not a good idea for you to try out, unless that's your goal, to kill Hardcore Shaper for the first time ever. Um, learning different things about the game, learning different mechanics, learning different, learning different fights is essential for you to accomplish those goals. And Hardcore is going to punish you for that over and over and over again. So choose what's best for you based on your goals. You also choose what's be ought to choose what's best for you based on your motivations. So let's say, for instance, again, taking myself as a case study, that you've got a lot of different players that you play with who are new players and you're helping them learn the game. Well, hardcore is a terrible place to do that. Um, so if my motivations are to teach the game to new players, I have tried walking new players through hardcore, several of them who are face-to-face -face friends with me outside of just games, uh, and they did not enjoy the experience whatsoever. When I took those same people and walked them through softcore, it was much more forgiving because every time they experienced content, they weren't going, oh, I've got to go make a new character again. So based on your motivations is another factor that you're going to want to input into the equation when you're choosing what's best for you between softcore or hardcore Path of Exile. 
Thirdly, and the final quid pro quo, this discussion is not meant to divide our community here in G3 or the community of Path of Exile. It's not meant to divide us over our preferences, over what we like, over any you know superiority complexes, over any gatekeeping terms or gatekeeping ideologies. Rather, this whole discussion is to encourage us all as a community to consider the pros and cons of playing in either softcore trade leagues or hardcore trade leagues. Simply looking at both sides and the options and the uh, various sorts of experiences that they offer uh, to us as a community enjoying Path of Exile. So what are some pros of playing Path of Exile in softcore? There's got to be some benefits, right? And there are. There's a long list of them. First off, learnable content. It is really great to learn things in Path of Exile in softcore mode. There is simply a wide variety of builds, much more so in softcore that you can play than in hardcore. In hardcore, you need to narrow down a lot of what you do and focus a lot of what your builds, um, itemization, and pathing on the skill tree will be you need to focus a lot of your decisions on survivability because every time you make a mistake that leads to a death in hardcore it means you're making a new character so in softcore every time you make a mistake yes you go back to town and yes at a certain point as you progress through the story you're going to start losing xp and yes once you get to the final end game stage of the game you're going to lose even more xp every time you die and yes that's a bummer but it doesn't mean you have to re-roll from level one so there's simply a wider variety of builds. When I first started playing Path of Exile, before I ever touched Softcore, I only thought that there were basically a couple of viable builds for the entirety of the game, and I thought that there were certain skills and certain mechanics that were absolutely broken defensively that were just overpowered and you needed to have them on every single build. And then I started playing softcore, and I was like, oh, this is a whole other variety of style and gameplay and experience than I've ever experienced so far. And that was pretty much my first two years of Path of Exile, was playing pretty much the same thing over and over again. So there's a wide, wide variety of builds, much more so in softcore than in hardcore, that is available for you to consume. Whether that's a meme build or simply something that focuses more on damage and really pushing one particular mechanic that's a non-defensive mechanic to its limits. It's great to learn and to experience that style of content in softcore. Also, it's easy to enter in and interact with new league mechanics. So we're coming out of Path of Exile 3.5 Betrayal League. That was last league, and a lot of people in hardcore, particularly the first few weeks, died and died a lot. There were more rips uh, in terms of videos and more rips in terms of discussions from hardcore players than I have ever seen uh, in terms of interacting with the league mechanic. It was a very, very rippy league mechanic. A lot of people complained about it, enough so that Grinding Gear Games toned down all of the encounters across the board and changed encounters throughout the course of the lifespan of that particular league because so many people were dying in hardcore and didn't feel like there was counterplay to it. Well, if you play softcore, you don't have to worry about that. You can enter and interact with and engage in league mechanics from the get-go. I still remember an incursion league of this past summer, summer of 2018, uh, wanting to go in and interact with Alva as soon as I could for the uh, mechanics of the league, and I did so, and I died horribly uh, in almost every single interaction and incursion that I jumped into early game until I got to like around Act 5 or 6, and I was just like, you know what? I should just not do this stuff until I get fully geared and have an end game build like ready to go Duh. like of course that's how many of us play the game and of course in hardcore that's pretty much how you have to view new league mechanics where you're essentially jumping in you know it's like jumping into a pool that you're not sure how warm it is you're essentially like dipping your toe or dipping your hand into the water feeling how warm it is because you don't just want to expose your whole body to whatever the temperature is that's really what hardcore is and so if you're in any way hesitant about that because you really look at a league mechanic and you go, I really want to enjoy this league mechanic and explore it to its fullest as soon as it hits on day one. Softcore allows you to do that. If you die, it's no big deal. It can be funny. It can be hilarious. You can learn and test things out with the penalty being much, much smaller than in hardcore. And that is a wonderful way that softcore provides learnable content. Softcore also provides repeatable content. So let's say, for instance, that you want to go in and maybe refresh yourself on never having to lose value uh, for particular items or currency by taking down a boss or by repeating over and over again farming Uber Lab or maybe trying out for the first time taking down Shaper or fighting Uber Aziri or fighting the Pale Council. Any of these encounters, maybe pushing yourself to a certain uh, particular limit 
or depth in Delve. These are things that you never have to worry about losing your value on your currency or your time or your maps. And so repeatable content becomes very, very um accessible for you as you're playing softcore path of exile it also means that you can keep trying out various bosses and difficult encounters to learn the sequencing and the required skills to progress one of the reasons why so many players fail on their first attempt on a boss and i'm not just talking about whether that's shaper or anything i'm talking d going all the way back to whenever a new boss gets introduced to the game it doesn't have to be an end game boss it can just be a new boss with new mechanics is that we're all trying out how to beat the boss and what are some different ways to interact and to fight the boss in their particular boss zone so in softcore you can keep doing that over and over again and the things that you lose out are sure time on your attempt on your single attempt and maybe currency if it costs any currency to attempt it but that's all you lost out on you didn't lose out on a character and so playing in softcore allows you to actually actually progress your skills in the game in a repeatable fashion. Hey, if you fail in a Ziri run, you just plug and chug four more fragments and you go again. Oh, you failed a Shaper run? Well, was that something about your build? Go back, reevaluate it, plug in more Shaper fragments and try again. That's always an option for you. It doesn't mean that you're starting back down at ground zero. Softcore is really, really great for that. And I've learned so much about Path of Exile since swapping from hardcore to softcore because of this exact principle, because of repeatable content. Thirdly, you get to experience continual growth and progression whenever and however you like. So let's say, for instance, you want to push your build to the limits and you want to grab the highest, you know, most difficult zone that your build could possibly handle. And you just want to farm that over and over and over again. Or maybe there's a div card that you want to attack. And maybe the boss is sometimes rippy, maybe sometimes not. You can just go in and continually progress through that. In hardcore, so often you're worried about dying. And so because you're worried about dying, you're not necessarily going to push your build to do the hardest content that you can do. You're going to push your build to maybe like a fulcrum point or a tipping point of the hardest content that you can do while still remaining uh, within the threshold of relative safety. Which means you can come out with things like people being over-leveled while they're going through the campaign, over-leveled in their maps, and so you're actually getting less XP per hour, but your character never dies because when they die, they go away and you lose all your XP. So in softcore, there's continual growth and progression whenever and however you'd like. Well, so with all that being said, are there any pros to playing hardcore Path of Exile? I mean, that sounds like there's a lot of reasons to play softcore. What are the reasons to play hardcore? Well, first off, there's forced leveling. Yes, I said it. You are forced to level characters. So you're going to die at some point mentally. If you're, look at me, look at me, YouTube. If you're going to play hardcore this league or whenever, you're going to die at some point. All right. You, you just will, unless you AFK in your hideout which maybe you're just a, a bank of exile player and you just want AFK in your hideout and trade all day. But if you're playing hardcore, you're going to die, which means you're going to be re-rolling characters frequently. That gives you all sorts of opportunities. You can try out different builds. You can try out different ascendancies. You can try out different classes. You can try out different item setups. There's lots of different things that you get to do if you're constantly re-leveling uh, on a semi-regular basis. Now, can you do that in softcore? Absolutely. Whenever you want to create a new character in softcore, you can do that. I already can see some of you leaving comments down below. Oh, iron, but you can just go and make a new character whenever you want to, Zigzog. Yes, you can in softcore. You totally can, Zigzog, okay? But the reality is, is that in hardcore, it's not optional. It's just going to happen. You're going to die, and you're going to have to re-level a new character if you want to keep playing in hardcore. So... If that's the reality of it, get into that mentality right away. And when that death hits, have a laugh. Maybe be angry about it for a minute, but have a laugh. Try to learn from it and move on. Speaking of learning from it and moving on, you have forced learning in Hardcore Path of Exile. And this is one of the things that's tougher for newer players that enter into Path of Exile and why I don't blame anybody who's a newer player to simply say, look, I'm going to start off with Softcore and then play Hardcore. I did it the wrong way. I, I went Hardcore for too long and it actually turned me off of the game for a while until I came back to play Hardcore and Softcore and do this mixed league thing that I do now. Forced learning 
simply means that you don't want to lose your progress or your character. So you do a couple of things. One, you just never log back on your character once you're happy. It's, it's at a spot that, that it's at in hardcore. Two, you keep playing, and so then you read up on everything you possibly can, and you learn as much as you can about whatever content it is that you are trying to tackle. So that way you can have the best possible chance to survive in that particular content, which is great. Those of us that like to learn, hardcore is a a fantastic teacher for those of us who like to learn this way because you're forced to learn through harsh penalties when you make mistakes it's forced learning hardcore is also a fresher economy feel free to disagree with me down below i'm happy to hear counter arguments on this the too long didn't read summary of this and you can read several different forum threads out there from people who play in hardcore about this but the too long didn't read summary is that because people die a lot in hardcore people need all kinds of gear all the time throughout the entire lifespan of a hardcore league so it means that players need low level currency because well they died and so they're starting a new character and maybe they didn't have a bunch of currency on them they need new items whether that's new leveling items or new low uh, mid game items or new end game items people need new stuff all the time which means as you're farming and interacting and changing uh, your own characters and your own builds and trading in the economy, the economy stays fresh because people spend their currency on crafting awesome items and awesome gear and on buying uh, awesome uniques from other players and trading and interacting. And then they die and it all goes to standard. And so they've got to repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat, which makes it for a slightly different and fresher economy. This changes all of the dynamics of the economy. And if you like the economic side of Path of Exile, then Hardcore presents a whole other layer to the economic side of playing Bank of Exile. Fourth off, it is a much tighter community. Now I'm putting this in air quotes because what I mean by this is in little interactions and in opportunities to meet new players. So you get to know more players. You swap stories, and sometimes you'll even play in a group. And when you play in a group in Hardcore, it's about surviving and thriving together. Whereas oftentimes when you're grouping in Softcore, it's simply, okay, let's get bunches of currency and let's kill everything as fast as possible. And if somebody dies in the group, oh, you kick them or, oh, they're embarrassed and they leave or, um, oh, they, they died because they weren't paying attention. And so now they need to go do something else in hardcore. You don't get any of that. Somebody dies in your group. It is devastating. I've been a part of mapping parties, um, full six people mapping parties. And as soon as somebody dies, it's just like, oh man, rip. So sorry. Oh man. You know, make sure you add me as a friend and, and I'll help you level up. Like there are wonderful, wonderful human moments that happen in hardcore. And there's also some trolling that happens in hardcore, right? Like people still scam. People still um, do try to do things to one another that are harmful. Like people will absolutely host maps in hardcore that are elemental and physical reflect and then invite people that they know are running builds that are elemental and physical. Um, so that way they can get their character died. Like there's absolutely some moments where people are totally, totally terrible to each other in hardcore. That is true. But there's also the converse of that, which is that people who are trying to survive try to survive together. They swap stories. They have a great time. In softcore, I rarely see people telling me after I make a trade with them, stay safe, exile, or, um, you know, survive another day, or good luck out there, right? A lot of the time, it's just like, thanks for the trade. In hardcore, you have people not writing diaries and writing each other books as you're making trades, but you just have this general expression of, hey, I hope, I hope your character doesn't die today. I, I hope you make it through whatever content you're working on. So you get to know a lot more people. You swap stories. Uh, and it's generally a tighter community and a more social experience. Fifthly, when you're playing hardcore Path of Exile, every single choice matters. And what I'm simply going to say on this is that there, it's a bit of a meme amongst me and several of my friends that play Path of Exile that I frequently die in Path of Exile when I get character item upgrades. Like pretty frequently and it's not even like there's this long elongated period of time it's like usually within an hour of me upgrading a bunch of my gear i die and lose it all 
because every choice in Path of Exile Hardcore matters. Every single choice. Your, your, and I'm not just talking about major things like your passive tree, your build, your ascendancy, your items. I'm talking about when do you swap out an item? Do you use some of your currency now to invest on this character? Or do you save it for when this character dies and you're going to use it on another character? Do you level and re-level constantly through a zone and, and just keep over-leveling yourself in a zone to the max amount um, to where there's an XP penalty? Or do you keep pushing on and do you move forward to the next zone? Do you re-roll that map that looks like it might be a little rippy? You're playing, you're, maybe you had a long day at work and you come home from work and you're a little bit tired and you want to boot up some, some Path of Exile. Do you boot up a map and something that might be a little bit challenging? Is there a boss that you're like, eh, I'm not really sure if I can take this boss or not? Every single time you sit down to play a hardcore Path of Exile session, every decision that you make matters because every decision could possibly mean you have to restart all of your decisions. So... Even as I'm talking about that, I'm smiling and I'm getting excited because it is fun. It is exciting. It builds tension. And some of you out there are just going, yeah, whatever, Iron. I don't care. I just want to play softcore. And I'm here to tell you that's okay. That's fine. We're just presenting both sides here, talking about softcore and hardcore. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. Again, I enjoy both in their proper places. But what I am saying is that in hardcore, every single choice lends to your character to developing a narrative and a story that ultimately writes itself <laughs> with the proverb that every choice matters. So questions to ask yourself when trying hardcore. If you're thinking, you know what, Iron, that sounds like a compelling case. Maybe, maybe in the upcoming leagues, I'll try some softcore and maybe in the upcoming leagues, I'll try some hardcore. Some questions to ask. Do you enjoy leveling? So if you don't enjoy leveling, don't expect yourself to play hardcore and enjoy it because you're going to level a lot. Whenever you make a, a big time mistake and you lose a character, you're going to go back to ground zero and you're going to start another character. One of the things that I do to offset um, the sort of massive exasperated feeling of losing a character after a long play session or after a long time on the character in hardcore is to simply have a couple different characters that I'm working on throughout the course of a league. So that way, if whatever my highest level character is dies, I can simply go, oh, that's okay. I was already playing this other guy that had some decent, um, you know, some decent gear and some decent progress. And that's something that's great. So I kind of stagger my characters as I am going through the leveling process. In terms of efficiency, that is not efficient, right? It, it's much more efficient to simply dump all of your time into a single character. But from my own player motivations and what's best for me, I've found that when I lose a character and I rip, I want to have something else to jump into immediately. I don't want to say, oh my goodness, I have to go back to the strand, to the <laughs> curse strand and kill zombies and kill Hillock and go talk to Nessa and <laughs> go... I just and go talk to Darkway. I don't want to do it. So yes, I enjoy leveling, but I, I typically stagger my characters. And so you're going to want to ask yourself that. Do you enjoy leveling in Path of Exile? And I know a ton of you out there don't. So that's okay. Do I enjoy finding new gear that's useful? One of the most awesome things about playing in hardcore is identifying and finding rares. I know we exist in a moment in time in Path of Exile history where nobody cares about picking up trash gear and it's all just trash and you leave it on the ground and you just speed farm, speed farm, speed farm. Like that's, that's, what our, that's literally what our playlist Bank of Exile is dedicated to is learning how to take principles of economics and principles of efficiency to generate currency. Totally get that. I'm totally behind that, especially when I'm playing softcore. But when I'm playing hardcore, I enjoy finding stuff where I go, oh, that's actually got a few more points of life on it that's got a few more resistances oh that changes changes some of my evasion some of my armor oh that's actually gonna give me a bunch of mana and maybe now i'll swap off some auras and go mind over mana like that's awesome that every single moment as you're playing there's opportunities to improve your character and you can find stuff that's actually going to be useful for your character even low level currency like i mentioned earlier can be useful and worth your time picking up no i'm not talking about portal scrolls or wisdom scrolls although those have their place. I usually don't even carry wisdom scrolls on me and portal scrolls on me because I don't just want them to teleport the standard when I die. <laughs> I keep all that stuff in my stash. But finding new gear and finding currency all the time is just cool and fun and hardcore because it's almost always needed. You also want to ask yourself, do you enjoy risk taking? Playing hardcore Path of Exile is a risk. It's a risk that all of your time that you spent into your character in hardcore is essentially converted into standard time. That's just a reality. I'm laying that out there. That can be a pro. It can be a con. It's just something to, to realize that all of your time you put into your character could ultimately just be a character that's sitting on standard at whatever level it was that you died at. So you've got to ask yourself, do you enjoy risk taking and the thrill of the risk as well as the danger of the risk? 
Do I really love to learn about the game? This is the fourth question. Do you really, really love to learn about the game? I mean, do you enjoy taking time, maybe when you're a little too tired to play, maybe when you've got theory crafting time, to think, okay, how could I push this build a little bit further? Okay, what style of content am I coming up on and how do I need to prepare for it? Do you really love to learn about Path of Exile? If you do, then Hardcore might be it for you. If you do, maybe Softcore is it for you, but Hardcore is a very, very punishing way that forces you to learn the game if you're going to continue to bang your head against the Hardcore wall. Fifth question to ask yourself, do I enjoy playing a wide variety of builds? If you want to play a whole bunch of different builds or maybe even craft your own build and see how far you can push it, my personal suggestion, again, not dictating how you play, but just personal suggestion, is that you would try out Softcore. Try out the build on Softcore first. See how it looks. See how it feels. That way, if you make a mistake here or there, that's okay. You can continue with the build and try it out. And then if you want to try out that same build in Hardcore, great. You can do that. You can try to improve it and see exactly what sort of tweaks and changes need to go into the build to make it a better build. Sixthly, do I have friends who play hardcore? I asked this question and you should ask yourself this question. I think I'm suggesting that you should in a couple of different ways. First off, if you have friends who play hardcore, that's great. You've already got a natural group of people to play with. If you don't have friends who play hardcore, or maybe you've got new friends who are coming into Path of Exile, Unless they're coming from another game that has a similar style, hardcore-esque, lose everything that you just dumped your time and effort into approach, I would recommend starting out with them in softcore so that way they don't get turned off to the game by having to play the same repeatable content over and over, recreating their character. I've met lots and lots of people throughout my course of playing Path of Exile who have said, yep, you know what? I've played the game and I've leveled with my friends and several different people stop playing at a certain point as they're leveling throughout their uh, first playthrough in Path of Exile. And that's okay. But one way to increasingly uh, essentially burn out other players is to have them constantly fighting Hillock and Mervale in Act 1 before they've even ever seen what Act 3 looks like. So that's a, a question that you're going to want to ask yourself. And last question, do I want to meet new people and have stories about PoE to share? A lot of the PoE stories that I've got uh, just floating around my head and that I kick around with my friends are from Hardcore. Uh, I was just kicking around a, uh, a story the other day with my buddy Beckett about uh, some characters that died right after I had upgraded items on that character. And they were a wonderful summoner character. They carried me a great distance throughout uh, both the campaign and maps of Path of Exile. And then I went out and bought a bunch of awesome stuff that I'd been saving up to, and they died. And so then they sit on standard, and they're there. <laughs> or you delete them on standard because you never want to remember them. That story sticks with me. And yes, I've got a smile on my face now. I wasn't smiling when my character died, but I do now. So do you want to meet new people and have stories about PoE to share? Then Hardcore might actually be a great place for you to play. So to sum up, there is not a better side to this discussion, whether that's hardcore is better than softcore or softcore is better than hardcore. That's fine if that's your opinion, but there just, there just isn't. There isn't a general consensus in the community. If you're new, a new player to Path of Exile, there's not a this is the proper way to play Path of Exile sort of approach. Although many players try to make that argument about lots of different ways to play Path of Exile, just recognize that it's a matter of player preference and it's based on your player motivations and your goals, okay? There's not, there's not a right answer to this. It's a game. Have fun. For crying out loud, whatever happened to fun in games, play the game the way that you have fun. It's totally based on your own preference preference and your own motivations. I personally play hardcore and softcore leagues. So if you're ever wondering, Iron, are you going to show us what an economy looks like in softcore leagues? Or are you going to show us what an economy looks like in hardcore? Are you going to show us the differences in that? Yes, I do. I play both hardcore and softcore leagues. I typically rotate every other league with occasionally dabbling in both leagues if I have the time to do so. So discussion topics for us to chat about today. I love to hear all of your comments and your thoughts. I really appreciate this community that we've got here in G3. So thanks so much in advance for your comments and for your interactions down below. Always love what you all have to say as we interact with the topic of hardcore and softcore. So which type of play style do you typically prefer? Hardcore or softcore Path of Exile? Have you ever played hardcore? Have you ever played softcore? Do you play both? What's it like to play both of those? What are your own reasons for enjoying 
hardcore or softcore PoE. Maybe you only play either hardcore or softcore exclusively. Why? What are your reasons? Love to know that, and the community would love to hear your opinions on what your reasons are for choosing hardcore or softcore. And then what would make you try out the other thing, the opposite thing, the thing that you don't typically play, whether that's hardcore or softcore? What would appeal to you? and make you say, yep, I'll go play it? Would it be a guild that recruited you to play a specific role or to play in a specific league? Would it be other people, whether that's your friends, face-to-face -face friends, or other gamer friends? Would it be an incentive in-game that could exist that would potentially get you to play either softcore or hardcore? Leave us a comment down below and let us know what your thoughts and opinions are on hardcore versus softcore. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I hope that today is the day, either in softcore or hardcore, that you find a mirror of Calandra.